Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about sugarcane, how to grow it, how to produce it, how to harvest it. So if this is what you are looking for, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, folks, so before we dive into it, again, this is Farmer Cop here. And if you're new to the channel, my name Farmer Cop is because I'm a full-time police officer that loves to play Farming Simulator, so I do videos this way as well. So a couple things to note as well. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. And if you enjoy this video, please hit like. So let's talk about sugarcane. Sugarcane is a crop that is new to Farming Simulator 19. Um, this uh, video I know is a little bit late coming out as far as how to grow it, um, but I think that this is kind of a more, maybe not complex crop, but I think there's more to it than people realize. So I wanted to do a quick guide on how uh, to grow sugarcane, and hopefully you'll learn something here, or hopefully it'll ease some of your frustrations that you found out if you tried to do it on your own, and I'll also give you some tips to make it easier to do sugarcane and kind of how I do it when I play. So a couple things to note about sugarcane, um, if plant withering, if you play with plant withering on, sugarcane does not wither, it will never wither. However, the downside to that is it does have a much longer growing period, and by that I mean it takes probably two or three times as long as most crops to grow. I kind of did a rough test where I know this isn't going to be super accurate, I'm sure there's exact numbers out there, but I found that if you're growing in fast, um, it takes about 10 to 12 in-game hours to, to grow per growth stage. In normal, it's about 13 to 16, and then it jumps up with slow. It takes about 24 or more hours to grow one growth stage in um, slow mode. So it does take a while to grow. So just be aware of that. And that's per growth stage. Uh, excuse me. There's several growth stages for sugarcane. So it takes a while to get there. Um, so like grass, though, I will say it will immediately grow back. So after you cut it down, you don't have to replant it. It will start growing back right away. Um, it is a low value crop. So if you go into the store, it's not going to fetch you a huge amount of money per thousand liters. However, it is a extremely high yield crop. And that's why it is actually one of the most profitable crops in game uh, per area. So per zone that you grow. So like if I had the same amount of space growing wheat, I would make about a fourth as much as I would growing sugarcane in that same plot of land. Um, it can be a little bit more work. There's obviously a higher volume of crop that you're dealing with, so there's a little bit more transporting and stuff like that. But um, as far as the income per, we'll say, per area on a field, you're making a lot more. So again, just like most of my videos, I'm going to divide this up into different uh, sections to talk about different things. So I'm going to divide it up into tiers. So there are actually only four tiers when it comes to sugarcane. So it's not like there's uh, 18 different steps you have to take, but there's a lot kind of in each tier that I want to talk about to make sure you guys understand all the ins and outs of sugarcane. Um, so in this video is pretty packed with information, so I recommend watching all the way to the end just so you don't miss anything. If you after you watch this, you know everything you need to know about sugarcane. And if I did for whatever reason, if you're an expert at sugarcane and farming center and I did miss something, please drop a comment. I want to learn as well. So. There are four tiers, essentially. Tier one is field prep, just like any other crop. Tier two is planting, just like any other crop. Tier three is also going to be field care, just like any other crop. And tier four is harvesting, um, just like any other crop. So essentially, the tiers are very basic. They're the same as like the tiers I would consider for like grains or corn or something like that. However, there's a little bit different steps and different equipment that is needed in each step. So give me one second here. We're going to jump over. We're going to take a look at some of the equipment needed in each tier. All right, folks, so what I have in front of me is kind of, now it looks like a lot, and it is a lot, but you don't need all of this equipment. There's this, it's very specialized equipment, so I just brought it all out here so I could show you as I go through. So we're going to start here on, and I'm also going to go through the store at the end of this um, and show you everything I forgot in my last how-to video I did. I said, oh, I'm going to go look at all this in the store, but I completely forgot. So um, <laughs> forgive me for that. Um, this time I'm going to remember I put a note down, so I will go in the store and show you where all this stuff is at and show you some more details in the store. So starting here, we're going to start on tier one, just like we do with anything else, field prep. So you need to cultivate, plow, or subsoil at a minimum. So you have to do one of those. You don't have to do all three. Make sure the field's ready to go because the seeders are not direct drills. So just be aware of that, okay? So when it comes to... Um, Cultivating. Cultivating obviously doesn't have a plow state it's going to add. So if plowing, if you're playing with plowing required on, um, this guy is not going to get that handled for you. If you're not worried too much about yield or you're already like, well, it's already such a high yield crop, you don't care about having a 15% deficit, then you don't need to worry about that. However, if you are worried about yield, you're going to want to probably either subsoil or plow. 
Um, so this is a subsoiler here, which essentially is, it does the work of a cultivator and a plow. So it'll give it a cultivated look on a field, but it counts for a plowing state. So that is an option there. And over here, you just have your basic plow. So any plow work, any subsoiler work, any cultivator work, um, but just be aware of the subsoiling plowing to get that plowing state. So if you go into the help menu inside of Farming Center 19, one thing it notes about plowing and subsoiling, uh, more specifically the plowing state, it says after sugarcane, you have to plow the field every time after sugarcane. Now, keep in mind that that is referring to if you go from sugarcane to another crop. So remember that sugarcane can just will start growing again without being replanted. So after sugarcane grows up and you harvest it, you don't have to plow and then replant every time. So if you're going to switch crops, so you did sugarcane and then you're going to go to a different crop, you do need to plow if you want to get the most yield out of your next crop you're going to plant on there. However, if you're going to keep a field sugarcane, you only have to plow every three harvests. So if you plow at the start, then you'll be able to harvest three rounds of sugarcane off of that field. Then if you want to get still be getting the most yield, it's worth it to plow the field and then replant it. So that way you can get going again. But if you're not worried about a 15% deficit and you don't want to go through the work every three times of plowing and then replanting because you're like, well, I don't know if the cost outweighs it. You'll definitely, the 15% is definitely worth it where you'll make more money at the end of the day. Um, but if that's not something you're too worried about and you don't want to do that kind of work, work on it, then don't worry about it. Um, but that's the only thing I have to say about field prep there. So field prep's again, very basic, but there's that kind of weird note about plowing that I wanted to mention that's specific to sugar canes. So we are going to move on to tier two, which is going to be planting. So in this game, um, you need a specialized planter to plant sugar cane. So there are three options in store and they all will fertilize while they are planting. So the first one here, um, which actually we'll go to the back so we can take a look at it here. So this first one here is the Gessner single row billet planter. It has a working width of one meter, so not very wide. Um, the next one here is the Gessner two row billet planter. And as you may guess, it now doubled the working width to two meters since it's the two row billet planter as opposed to the single row. So here's this guy here. And then here, the last one I have for you is the TT8022 drive less. This guy is also a one meter uh, working width but it does have a much larger seed tank, as you can tell by its size here. So you won't have to fill it up as often. So it just kind of depends. If you're just going to set a worker out there, and you don't want it to worry about it for a while, um, you can just do that. Or if you have um, helper buy stuff on where the helper is going to buy seeds and fertilizer anyway, then you can just use this and it'll have the same effect. Or you can use this guy. It does not really matter. And again, we will look at all these guys in the store. Um, so when you're filling these guys up, another thing to note, similar to potatoes, you can use sugar cane instead of seeds. And I would actually recommend that. So here's the reason why. In potatoes, um, the first time you grow potatoes, you essentially have to use seeds, which are much more expensive than potatoes because there's no option in the store to buy uh, potatoes. So, but in the base game for Farming Cylinder 19, there is a pallet of sugar cane in the store that is way cheaper per thousand liters than buying seeds. So an example of that, in base game, any way you buy seeds in the store, it's going to be $900 per 1,000 liters of seeds. Sugar cane, you can buy it in a pallet that's $280 bucks and it has a thousand or 2,000 liters in it. So it's $140 per 1,000 liters. So much cheaper. So right off the bat, you can uh, use that immediately. And just like the if you pull up a cedar next to a pallet of seeds or a big bag of seeds and hit, um, well, it's R on PC. I'm not sure what it is on consoles, but... Um, you can fill it directly in there. So if you pull up next to a pallet of sugar cane, you can fill it directly in there. So you have to try to dump that pallet in there um, or anything weird like that. Um, so yeah, and again, you can just load these directly up after you get a harvest of sugar cane. You don't have to worry about seeds if you don't want to. If you want to just keep it nice and tidy, then you can just go buy seeds anyways from the store in the form of a pallet and it's still not that much more really. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, so that is all I have, I believe, for tier two. So tier three coming up here is also very basic. So sugarcane is very similar to most crops in the sense that it just needs kind of basic care. So we're looking at, you need a lime. If you want to get the most out of your harvest and you have periodic lime required, then you're going to need to lime it every three harvests. And you can just do that right over the top of the sugarcane. You don't have to plow or replant or anything to do that one. And if you have weeds turned on, it's going to have weeds like any other crops. If you catch it early on, you can use specialized uh, equipment to just cut the weeds out. Or if you catch it later on, you can use a sprayer to just cut it out as well. Um, it has two fertilizer states like any other crop in FS19. So what you can do is if you have the cedar going with fertilizer in it, that's one fertilizer state. And then after it grows up uh, to the next growth stage, you can go ahead and throw down a second uh, layer of fertilizer. And it can take solid fertilizer or... Uh, liquid fertilizer. So here I just have a liquid fertilizer sprayer that could do liquid fertilizer and herbicide if necessary for weeds. This one's going to be able to do lime and solid fertilizer. So those are just two very basic pieces of equipment. It doesn't matter which ones you use. 
So now um, this is where it starts to get a little more complex and not extremely complex where it's ridiculous, but um, we're going to move into tier four, which is harvesting. And there are um, two in-game options, as you can see here for harvesting. But the first thing I want to note, if you go in when your sugar cane is ready to harvest, it's going to have the field state of remove tops. It's going to say remove tops like uh, potatoes would, for example. So um, it does say that. However, you can just ignore that. These are the only two options in front of me that can harvest sugarcane, and they both remove tops at the same time that they harvest it. So there's no there's no cutter either available. So it's not like you can go remove the tops if you wanted to first anyways. There's not like a specific cutter available to remove sugarcane uh, tops. So just be aware of that. So the first harvester I have here is pulled by a tractor. As you can see, it's hooked up here. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's folded out right now, so it kind of sets off to the side. And this is the part that cuts off the top of the sugarcane. So essentially, it's just the leaves that are on top. Um, and then this is what actually is going to harvest it. So this has a one meter working width. This is the Lizard SWT7. You can change the color. It's not this color in store. I just made a lot of the equipment here red that I could change so it would match uh, some of the tractors I had out here. Um, so there's that option for you. The other nice thing about this is you can pull a trailer behind it right here. So most trailers will hook up to this. Um, I haven't tested on every single trailer, but most of them will hook up to this and then the pipe will just go in there. Obviously, if the pipe is going to collide with the trailer or have issues, it may not work for you. Um, and yeah, that does start to be kind of a long operation if you're thinking about putting a trailer back here. Uh, but just be aware of that, that that is an option for you. All right. And then the next guy over here, this is the Case Ostoft 8800 multi-row. And it works it has a two meter working width. So it is unfolded right now. And again, that's what's going to cut the tops off. Um, and this is what's going to uh, pull on the sugar cane and start harvesting it for you. So a couple things to note about this guy is it is an option in store. And I'll show you this where you can pay an extra $800, which is nothing compared to the actual price of this piece of equipment. Um, and you can add a essentially a, a hitch on the back where you can hook up trailers. And then it has the pipe up here. So then essentially um, you can just hook up a trailer and then you can drive along or hire a worker to drive until the trailer is full. So here's where it gets a little tricky. So we're going to talk about trailers and this is where it actually gets really tricky and almost frustrating. So if we go back here, the first thing we're going to talk about is sugarcane trailers. So there are specific sugarcane trailers that can have kind of a, they kind of a high volume for a little bit less price than maybe a regular tipper, um, at least in general. So these are the five options available. So I'll actually come around, oops, ran in the tractor there. We'll come around here. So the first one here is the Lizard Canatrans 600, which holds 12,000 liters. The next one is going to be the TT Colossus 10,000, which holds 20,000 liters. And the final one here is going to be the Massey Ferguson MF 3012 28,000. Now, there are two others in the store that I did not bring out. Um, the first one, they're both Randon sugarcane trailers, and they're both basically the same, except one's hauled by a tractor and one's hauled by a semi truck or a dolly, I guess you could hook up as well. And those ones hold 66,500 liters. The advantage to those big sugarcane trailers, if you're ha hauling large quantities of sugarcane around, that those trailers are a higher capacity than the next trailer down that can hold uh, sugarcane inside the store. So the next trailer down that can hold sugarcane, um, those have a higher capacity. I think the next closest one is 59,000, and they're typically a little bit less expensive than those other tippers would be. Not by a lot, so the main concern is the little bit higher volume, I think. So um, why are these trailers special? So these trailers, what they can do is they can tip up and essentially they can tip high enough into another trailer. And I'll demonstrate that when we do a sugarcane harvest here in a little bit. Um, so they can essentially just tip into another trailer, which is very convenient if you wanted to have uh, one of these guys to get filled up by a harvester and then you could tip it into a trailer. And I'll talk a little bit about more about harvesters and which ones hook up and everything like that in a second. And these trailers also too are kind of a multi-use. So you can use these for wood chips, for chaff, for grass, for hay, for straw, and for silage. So if you want to haul any of those and have kind of a, a higher tip, this might be a good option for you. Um, so I will say this though, the first three options here, so these three here, will not work on all trailers, but they will work on non sugar cane trailers as well. And what I mean by that is they can hook up so you can make kind of trailer chains. Um, so just be aware of that. So you can hook up like, I don't know, 10 of these in a row, if you really wanted to pull it or five of these in a row or three of those or whatever, you know, and you can hook this up to a regular tipper or anything like that. So uh, just be aware of that as well. Now, the tricky part here with trailers, and this is where it starts to get frustrating, harvesters and trailers. So the lizard harvester will hook up to this trailer, this trailer, and this trailer without any issues. You shouldn't have any problem hooking it up to any of them. And even you can hook it up to the, the randon, the big one, though I don't know if you have a pipe issue or maybe a horsepower issue where you're pulling such a large trailer because the randon is huge and we'll see that in the store. However, the frustrating part is the case harvester, that guy right there, cannot hook up to any of these. 
All three of these it can't hook up to. It can hook up, however, to the ra the Randon, the big trailer. However, if it is hooked up to the Randon trailer, it has a very bad collision with the pipe and essentially makes the vehicle hard to drive. You can't harvest with it. It's just kind of useless. So that's the thing that I do not like about the Case Harvester is it doesn't hook up to any of the uh, job-specific trailers. So the... And I tested this uh, as well. So with the Case Harvester, I hooked up every in-game trailer to to see which ones it would work on to see if it would work on any. So there are only, other than the big Randon trailer, there are only four in-game options and it's very small trailers as you'll see here. So the four in-game options that will hook up to the back of that, the first one we have here is the SEK802 and this is its 12,000 liter uh, set up here and I'll show you this in the store but you can do it at 8,000 and 4,000 as well. Uh, the next one that's going to work is the HW80 which can hold 10,750 liters. Then you have the TDK1600 which holds 14,000 liters and then finally you have the HKD302 which holds 21,000 liters and if you are going to use the case harvester use this trailer. It works. Uh, it, this is the best option. One because it holds more and with the, the swivel axle actually helps it to be able to maneuver better as well. So this is just hands down use this if you're using the case harvester. I did not test any of the auger wagons because they can't hold sugar cane anyway. So I didn't test any of those. Um, so yeah, that's frustrating. I, I tried every other tipper in the menu and including, I even tried a dolly on the back of this as well. And that wasn't going to hook up either. So actually uh, it's just, it's really frustrating. You kind of have to use one of these if you're going to use the case harvester or you have to try to drive alongside of it, um, which is, it's definitely an option to drive alongside it with like a big trailer. But if you're trying to just have a worker go out there and take care of it, then it's kind of hard to do. Um, and this guy will fill up very, very, very quickly. Sugarcane is a very high yield harvest. We're going to take the uh, two billet planter and we're only going to do uh, four rows on field, what fields? I believe it's field 12 here in Ravenport. And we're going to do uh, the max yield. So I'm going to make sure I plow this, get it limed up and everything good to go. Uh, that field we could harvest over there, but it would, for one, it would take forever. And second off, um, I don't believe that's the max yield setup over there. So um, what we'll do is we'll look in the store real quick before we keep going. So we'll start over here. So if we go into here, there's sugarcane technology is right here on this screen. So if we go into here, this is the multi-row uh, Ostoff 8800. So if we go in here, it's the, again, it's 349000 which isn't as expensive as some specialized harvesters. It's not expensive as like the potato harvester or the sugar beet harvesters or anything like that. Um, and the, the leasing isn't terrible. It's still very expensive. But here, so here's the attachments. So if we go to the back, there's essentially no trailer hitch on it there. But then you can change that to having a trailer hitch that way you can haul trailers as well. And it's only a hundred bucks more. So if you're going to buy this or lease it, uh, definitely do that. Uh, make sure you got that on there just to make it easier in case you did want to haul a trailer with it. It's just, it's just worth it. Um, if you're just going to drive alongside of it, then you may not want to spend the extra money, but uh, I think it's worth it there. And also too, if you buy it and forgot to do that, you can always take it to the store and then you can customize it and you can add this on later for the same price. So uh, just be aware of that. So if we go over to here, we'll go into uh, trailers first. So trailers here, this one will work. And this one is the one that I was saying has 4,000, 8,000 and 12,000 liter capacity. So that one will work. This one will work. This one will work. This one does not work. And I tested this. It does not work. And also too, you can see how late this uh, video is coming out. So it's farming similar 19 has been out for, you know, a year and a half, almost two years. And they haven't, it's not like this is a bug that they fix. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it just doesn't work. Um, and then also down here, this guy is going to be the last one that's going to work. All of these down here are not going to work. All of these going to down here. And I have some mods installed here. And I even tried the new ones for the class expansion pack. And I didn't, they didn't work either. And I didn't go through and try a bunch of different mods on here. I was just doing in-game in trailers. So if you find a mod that works, that's great. But with my how-to guides, I try to just stick with the in-game stuff to keep it basic. So if we go back to here, and again, auger wagons, they're not going to take, none of these are going to take sugar cane. So it's not even worth trying those. Um, unless you just want to pull around in the auger wagon with your uh, sugar cane harvester. Well, but that doesn't really make sense. So, um, and again, I tested the dolly. So if we go over here to dollies, I tested this guy. That's a mod. I didn't test him, but I tested this guy. It did not hook up, but it's going to sugar cane technology. So here's the single row planter. Here's the, the higher capacity uh, sugar row or uh, single row planter. Um, so that's, that's the higher capacity single row one. And then here's the two row one, which if you're going to do it, I recommend getting this. It's just worth it. It is a lot more money than these guys. So maybe you get this to start off or something like that, but it's worth it. Here's the lizard harvester, the SWT seven. Again, that's not very much money. So you might be able to get the sugar cane for a lot less than you thought. And I go over that again in my how to make money fast video and how you can just, if you wanted to on new farm mode, start out doing sugar cane. I kind of explain how you can do that. 
um, in that video. So I recommend checking that out if you haven't. And then here are those first three, the Canatrans 600, the Colossus 10,000, and the MF3012. So here are the first three sugar cane trailers, which I have out and I showed you. Here are the two Randon options. So here's the one for the semi-truck and here's the one that uh, is not for the semi-truck. So again, this will hook up to the case harvester. Um, However, it, you can't harvest with it. It's essentially useless. It, essentially, this the way it sits is it lifts, lifts the harvester off the ground slightly. So uh, not very good there. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this field and make sure it's good to go for a good planting. We're going to go ahead and uh, make sure it's plowed, make sure it gets limed, make sure it's in two fertilizer states. And I'm going to plant uh, just probably, I might only do two rows. We'll see, Maybe two or four rows. And I'll let you know. And I'm going to do that with the double row planter. Uh, or the the two billet planter so um, i'll go ahead and get all this equipment cleared out of here and then we will get to doing that all right folks so here i have some sugar cane that's ready to be harvested so one thing i will note i decided to go kind of in between my two options uh, so i did three rows with the double or two billet sugar cane planter so this is essentially six billets or six meters of sugar canes and i am going to use the lizard harvester um, it's a little bit slower, however, um, I wanted to use it so I can demonstrate the one of the sugar cane trailers here at the back. We're going to go ahead and dump it into that tractor trailer back there with the big trailer on it. That's also, that's the Randon, um, which we saw in the store. That's the semi-truck version. So we're going to go ahead and see how much we got of this. Again, it has been plowed. It has two fertilizer states, doesn't have lime that's required, and there were no weeds as we were up. So everything should be good to go and should be a max yield for us. Um, another thing to note when using the lizard, as you can see here, you have to go around the outside if you have crop destruction turned on. Unless you hire a worker, then it's kind of null and void and doesn't matter. But if you have crop destruction turned on, you have to drive around the outside of your field. So pre-plan that if you're going to use the lizard. But I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy going. Once I get a trailer full, I'll demonstrate how that thing tips for you. All right, folks, so I have our first trailer loaded up with 28,000 liters of sugar cane. I'm using the biggest, uh, well, the biggest small sugar cane trailer, if you will. Um, so what? So this one, too, when you go up to, to unload this, you're not going to be able to hit I or control I to unload it. It operates like a front loader attachment. So for me, I'm going to click the mouse, and then I'm going to be able to uh, adjust it around. So that's my tipping is left to right on the mouse, and then up and down is going to be lifting it. So if I bring it all the way up like that, then I can go ahead and tip it right into that trailer right there, just like that. And that is the advantage to using these trailers, is because they have that tip function. Wait for that to unload. Perfect. Bring it back down. And that's how those trailers work, folks. So very helpful. Um, I'm not sure actually if the uh the the randons do that or not which is the big trailers but anyhow the small ones will so that is the advantage using a sugar cane trailer for you all right so i'm going to keep harvesting and then i'll show you when we're done what we got out of that field all right folks i finished up that harvest so that small stretch and yes it does go for a ways that small stretch all the way down to the end of the field there and this is field 12 in ravenport so that small stretch of field and again that's probably a tenth of this field if not less than that or maybe, maybe a little bit more, but anyhow, it's not very much of this field. And yes, I had to go get a second truck to haul it. It wouldn't all fit in the first one. So in the first truck there, you have 66,500 liters of sugarcane. And in this truck, you have 18,130. So that makes a grand total of 84,630 liters of sugarcane. That is a lot of sugarcane. So if we take that number... 84,630 and multiply it by about, um, probably, we're probably going to get, uh, so 84,630 divided by a thousand is going to be 84.6 times you're going to get the price shown in the menu when you're selling it. Cause you're, the price that you're selling it at is going to be that price per thousand liters. And the average sell price for sugar cane is right around $250 per thousand. So just that small stretch of field right there, we're looking at 21,100 some odd dollars. And that depends. I mean, the, the price can vary, obviously, but that's if you're selling this at $250 per 1,000 liters. That is a boatload of cash for that small amount of field there. And that's already going to start growing back. So 
I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I hope it kind of changed your minds about sugarcane or uh, helped you kind of understand some of the frustrations and some of the ins and outs. And again, if you go watch my video on making money fast, that will show you how to do this just in new farmer mode. You can start off doing this. You don't need a lot of equipment. Yes, in new farmer mode, it will be, I'll be honest with you, it will be a pain in the butt uh, to haul sugarcane around. It just is what it is. But you can start doing it right off the bat with just a starting field or two, and then you can start making a lot of cash really quickly. So this has been Farmer Cop. I hope this video has been enjoyable. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any future videos I may post. Please share this video if you enjoyed it. And also, if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and comment if you have any suggestions or anything you want to see in future videos or anything that I didn't know about sugarcane that I didn't mention in this video. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching.